Hi everyone, Mint Morris here. Welcome to this short lesson taking a look at some Charlie Christian minor triad ideas over dominant seventh chords. If you're interested in learning more Charlie Christian after this lesson, please consider taking advantage of my Charlie Christian guitar course sale for this weekend only. I'm offering a 15% discount off of my three Charlie Christian courses. That's Charlie Christian playing the blues, a look at four Charlie Christian blues solos, creating lines in the style of Charlie Christian, a kind of accompaniment course to Charlie Christian playing the blues, where we take some of those ideas and twist them and turn them and make them our own. And finally, my most recent course, Minor Lines in the Style of Charlie Christian, where I take a solo in the style of swing to bop and show you how you can craft your own minor solos using simple chord shapes, harmonies, and melodies. We'll be working out of the key of G in this example lesson. We'll be working from the one chord, that would be G, to the four chord, that's the C. So this is a one to four in a blues setting, and this lick is taken from the blues solo, Holy Cats. The first part of the phrase sounds like this. Now, if we look at closely, we can see that we're playing several of the chord tones and a few extensions off the chord. So we have B, D, E, D. That's the third, fifth, sixth, fifth. And then we're going B down to A, third to second, and then G chromatically down to F, one to flat seven. Now you can say all of those notes like that with the numbers, or you could just think of it as I'm filling in the spaces of this chord. So if we have our triad right here, we have these three notes that sound great. And then this top part of the triad, the D note, that sounds great. And then we have the extension off of it. We have the E, the A, and the F. And that highlights a G7-9 with a 13. So we're working between this standard G chord and this nice G chord shell voicing. So. as the first part of our chord. Then we're moving on to a D minor triad. He sneaks this minor triad in here that's right underneath our fingers. We have D, A, F, and D. So this is taking the change and making it into a 2-5. Remember, we're going to the four chord, which is the C. That's gonna be our new tonal center. So we're putting a two chord in front of the C. That would be a D. So we have D minor, and we're gonna play the arpeggio downwards, A, F, D, five, three, one. So we have, and then we're gonna chromatically connect it down to B. So we can see we have the D minor, and then the G nine with the third in the bass. Charlie Christian is visualizing and working out of all of these shapes. Again, we have G or G7. We have G with the 13 and the 9. We have the D minor triad and then just a normal G9. And that just resolves right down into a C7 of some kind. So to walk through it one more time slowly, we have... Resolve to the C7. That's the basic lick. Now, in the Charlie Christian course that I offer where I teach you how to create your own lines, what I would do is flip these ideas around a little bit. Instead of going down the triad, I would go up the triad. So I might go. As the first part of my lick and then move down into that C7 somehow. So you could have that as your own Charlie Christian style lick. Again, it would be.
I might extend the chord. I might do a D minor seven. So I might play. So just adding the C, the flat seven of D minor, and then dropping it down and resolving. I might reverse that, I might go. Resolve into C. So that's what we're doing in my second course I offer, twisting and turning these different Charlie Christian ideas and making them your own. Again, if you would like to take advantage of the sale, please use the code Charlie Christian in all caps at checkout now until Monday. I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you.